Have you been trying to balance your hormones and now we're coming into winter not too sure what strategies you can employ? Well, these are three strategies that you can do that will help through the winter months to balance your hormones. The first thing is just be mindful of hydration. As the months get cooler, often people grab that extra coffee and that extra coffee will dehydrate you. Now, I get the warm feeling in your tummy thing and kick-starting yourself on a cold day, but for every extra coffee you have, you have to have an extra two glasses of water. So if you're not prepared to pick up the water, just go easy on the coffee. The second thing is, in summer it's really easy to eat lots of green leafy vegetables and if you've listened to my clips before, you'll know I'll be very huge on green is the new pink. Now, what I'd suggest doing over the winter months is still employing and using lots of green leafy vegetables in your cooking, in your soups and casseroles and things, but draw more on your herbs. So your parsleys, um, dill, corianders, incorporate them into all your soups and you'll find that it'll give you um, a lot more dimension to your cooking as well. And the third thing is to continue exercise. Now, I do understand the days are shorter and the tendency is to rug up and pull back on our activity level. Now, Whilst that's okay for one or two days, it's, you don't want it to become your newfound habit through the winter months because your body still needs to be moved and exercised and invigorated. There's a uh, natural resilience that occurs in the body when you put it under a bit of duress and stress and exercise is that. So rugging up, going out, even when it's raining with a scarf, is fantastic for your body. So keep those three things ticking through this winter and you'll find that you'll come out of it much better and you should have balanced your hormones a little bit.